On July 27th, Centerville had a special guest as Governor Hogan walked the streets to visit local businesses and the Queens County Health Department to express his gratitude on Centerville and Queen County's response during COVID. I'm going to be promoting the town. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, you get the I decorate the town. <laughs> I saw, I, I, you didn't hear me say that. I was just outside talking about that. I was like, wow. You know, I, I visit a lot of small towns, and I'm always happy to see all the people and the, the uh, store owners and the, the neighbors, but nobody ever gave me balloons. Well, <laughs> that's very really cool. Yes. Centerville's the town. Centerville is my favorite town now. <laughs> So, Governor, are you going to get a tattoo while you're here? I'm, I'm, I may. I'm yeah. <laughs> Governor Hogan spent time with many local businesses, but three stops in particular were made at Edwards Pharmacy, the Bayshore Steam Pot, and Coliseum Pizza, so he could award each with a governor's citation, acknowledging the hard work they put in for staying open and serving the community during COVID. As I know uh, it's been a really difficult time for small businesses and uh, for small towns. Uh, but I think we've made it through a really tough time, and I th thank you for all of, all of your hard work, and uh, especially being in being in your business here, uh, you know, just taking care of people when they were really worried about their health. Yes, that was a, and we tested here. We were testing. I know you were, well. which yeah. is amazing. That's yep. wonderful. So now that we're approaching the health department, how yeah. proud are you of the response in Queens County? I, I couldn't be more proud of uh, all of the effort. Uh, they, the, the health department in, in Queen Anne's County did an amazing job. I, I got the opportunity to go to their clinic uh, at, the, at the volunteer fire department in uh, Kent Island and uh, yeah, just to see the amazing uh, people that were working there uh, day and night trying to keep people safe. Uh, to see the people that were coming in getting vaccinated and they were so appreciative and thankful and they felt much safer when they got it done so I just wanted to come by and say thank you to them. Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Thank you very much for the work that you do. We appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. I uh, wanted to take a moment uh, to tell you how proud we are of the work uh, that all of you have done at the Queen Anne's County Health Department. Every, it was an incredible team. It was probably the most trying time that any of us ever had to go through uh, for, I guess, almost 16 months now, maybe, maybe more. Um, it's a once in a hundred year pandemic that was literally threatening lives all across the county and the state, the country and around the world. Um, but the amazing response from all of you, I know it was, it had to be one of the most difficult things that any health department ever had to deal with. And I just want to say I'm very proud of the entire team, everybody, every one of you. Um, and we're one of the best in the entire country, thanks to the hard work of people like you. We've now vaccinated almost 77% of all the people over 18 in the state of Maryland. And I, I can't really speak for every single Maryland, but I think I speak for most of the people in the state of Maryland when I say that we, we just can't thank you enough. God bless each and every one of you, and, and thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you. Really wonderful. Thank you for yes, uh, thank organizing you. such a great we uh, tried, yes. welcome. It was uh, really awesome to, to be able to get out here. This was a special stop for me because uh, the health department really did an amazing job during very difficult times. I just want to thank all of them. I sometimes don't get the appreciation that they deserve, but also to come by and um, just uh, check in on our small business folks that are working in the downtowns, which we're trying to do all across the state. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, they have had some difficult times as well through a very tough, you know, year, almost year and a half. And uh, it's good to see the people back out supporting the local businesses and uh, helping get people back to work. And, and uh, so I'm just, I'm just appreciative that everybody uh, let us come by and say hi and thank you.